Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over relative versus absolute paths or hyper-references. So I've got these couple pages set up. Of course, I've got my red page and my blue page and my uh, yellow page, and they're all working fine with our hyperlinks. I'd also like to put in a hyperlink to uh, an outside website, okay? So, so far, all of my hyperlinks are internal, and I'm using what are called relative paths. Relative paths mean, uh, basically, the path is relative to its source location. For instance, my link from my um, yellow page to my red page tells the browser to go down one folder to the red page file. Okay, That only works, obviously, if I'm on this particular yellow page or in a subfolder. By the way, that's up one folder to the red page. Let me uh, clarify this with an absolute path. So, for instance, if I wanted to link to the, literally to the um, Homer, Alaska city website, I'll jump over to my red page, for instance, and I've got a number of hyperlinks on here. Let me go ahead and add another one. I'm going to say visit Homer's city website and I'm gonna make this a hyperlink. Now the hyper reference for this particular hyperlink really just can't be a particular page name. So if I you know, knew the page name and I happen to know the page name because I just went to the site there, uh, the page name is for instance like index.html. Let's just really test it out real quick. It's thinking. Sure enough, it is. So the home page for Homer Alaska City website is index.html. Well, I can't just type in index.html. That won't work for the for Homer's website because this is going to tell my browser that I've got an index.html file in the same folder as this existing page, this red page. And based on my file path, we know that I don't have that file here. So if I want to go outside of my own website, I need that absolute path. This is where I would put in a complete web address. This hyper-reference points specifically to the City of Homer website. Now, I could put index.html right at the end of this path, but I don't need to. Whenever you put in a site's root domain, it's going to look for the default home page, which over at this website and many others, it's index.html. So this is all I need to do to make a hyperlink from my web page to somebody else's uh, website. So let me go ahead and save this. Jump over to my browser, red page, refresh, and you see I now have a link to Homer City website. If I click on this, it will take me over to Homer Alaska's city website and I can click back. Okay, so that is an absolute path. Now, pretty similarly, I can do absolute paths to my own pages. For instance, this blue page at HTML is a relative reference. If I go back to my browser, click on the blue page, we can see that it works. Okay, now if I were to change this to absolute, it would look something like this. And then let's see, I have a demo files slash web dev. There's a lot to that, but what I've got going on, in fact, let me zoom out just a bit so it's all in one line. There we go. So I've got ahref and then I've got the complete domain to where this page exists. By the way, I published it before I started recording this video. So it's six minutes smarter.com slash demo files slash web dev slash blue page slash HTML. Let me go ahead and save this, go back to my browser and refresh. So I'm still looking at my local red page, but watch what happens when I click on blue page. In fact, keep your eyes up on the address bar up here as I click on blue page. There we go. It worked, but it's now taken me away from my local computer and I'm now actually online looking at the published version of the blue page. So that is an absolute path. Now, although you can do that, it's not commonly done. Whenever you're linking to pages within your own site, you want to use relative paths. 
relative paths do not have the complete domain name up there. So within your own site, use relative. When you're linking to pages or websites outside of your own site, then you have to use absolute. That's the better way to go. And you might think, well, gee, it, it worked. Why don't I just use absolute all the time? Well, when you use absolute paths for your own internal pages, clearly it requires a lot more uh, typing. It adds to some complexity. But it also means you really can't test these in a local setting. So if I didn't have an internet connection going, this hyperlink to my blue page using an absolute path would not work. And sometimes, many times, you want to work on your websites locally, meaning on your you know, right there on the computer that you're at, regardless of internet access. You want to be able to see how things working before you publish and go live. So relative paths for within your site, absolute paths for when you want to go outside of your site. And by the way, this same process works for images too. This reference to my photo down here, even though it's a little bit longer, Images Photos Alaska, this is a relative path. And you know that because it does not have a complete domain name.